so today we are going to discuss the point energy conservation in fan and blowers this is a fan on the left hand side and this is a blower on the right hand side okay though the actual working of fan and blower is a bit different or we can compare there are many differences between fan and blowers but the points which we are uh, which we can consider to conserve the energy are same for both fan and blowers so we are discussing this topic in a single pdf now as far as fan is concerned you had seen fans uh, now this fan is a bit different than the fan which is there on your head ceiling fan ceiling fan actually used to circulate the air within that specific system okay whenever we start the fan our ceiling fan what it do uh, what it does uh, it will just circulate the air within that room but if you are going with this fan okay so what it will do it is uh, an image of an exhaust fan exhaust fan is used to uh, circulate the air from one medium to another medium we use exhaust in our kitchens washrooms etc where we want to uh, take out the air from uh, the internal system to the exterior part fine next to that now where we use blowers blowers uh, the best example of blower we can say the hair dryer many of you use hair dryer hair dryer is the best example of blower what it will uh, what it it does there is a fan inside the hair dryer it will starts rotating with a very high speed and it sucks the air from the exterior part right from the atmosphere and the front mouth of your hair dryer possesses the heating coils so the air which is coming through this fan flows through that heating coils and absorb the heat and gets heated hence the output of the hair dryer is always heated so over there um, we can say the hair dryer is the best example of what blower right uh, in the description link i am providing uh, in the description i am providing a link uh, how the blower works because normally everyone knows how fan work but uh, you may not know how blower work so it will get clear please see the video uh, before going through this presentation okay. now if we start with the point energy conservation opportunity in fan and blowers so first is minimizing pressure so pressure offers greater opportunities to reduce energy cost a system with good air flow characteristics duct and size optimize match with the proper control devices now you can read this point now what actually this minimization of pressure means there are always two pressure a system pressure and a output pressure so here if we go with the blower so maximum pressure we require at the output side it means what the pressure inside the system should be as minimum as possible because what will happen if the pressure loss inside the system is higher then definitely whatever the output you are getting at the terminal end will be less and it will be a what we uh, what we can say it will be a loss total loss actually means maximum you are you should utilize the output towards the end rather than inside the system second point is control the density this point is uh, already have, we had discussed in compression we require less density because if the moisture in the air is higher definitely the density will be higher and if density will be higher the movement of the air will be very slow and whenever we require a uh, air flow in the blower it should be with a very high velocity so control uh, this density plays an important role and this density can change the requirement of the system so high, denser the air maximum the loss will be there in the system 
so it would be better that you should go with uh, less dense air for better circulation next point fan efficiency that is a quite common point whatever we are selecting the fan or the blower it should be with the high efficiency that is a common quite common point next is proper fan sizing now this is important whenever we are going to select something means if we are going to select a exhaust fan for our uh, kitchen definitely the size of the fan should be according to the room size definitely if you had installed a very big exhaust fan what will happen it will going to perform the same function but it will consume more energy which is not even um, good for our pocket because we have to pay for the extra uh, energy we are consuming and it is use useless okay next the point is adjustable speed drive now this adjustable speed drive we had already discussed variable speed drive and we had taken the example of our ceiling fan the regulator which we are using is the best example of how we can control the speed according to our convenience now the point is yes adjustable speed drive matters a lot because uh, in big industries where the heating is quite high there they put uh, exhaust fans and according to the heat generated inside the system the speed of the fan gets adjusted means sometimes if the process inside a system are uh, means not full loaded it is half loaded at a time your exhaust fan speed should be a moderate speed but whenever the system is fully loaded the fan should rotate at the highest speed to take to exhaust the heated air from the inner system to the outer system and last point high efficiency belt now this belt system this belt system is used whenever we are connecting something to the blower means blower is connected something uh, we had uh, discuss a point coupling right so in coupling uh, whenever we are coupling something to the blower so at a time we have to use belts so instead of that v shaped belts we can use cogged belts okay so these are the points only six points for fan and blowers hope uh, you understand the points if you have doubt you can ask me thank you